Good day, folks. How are you doing? Welcome back to Film Time for another dose of TLC's medical reality show, Dr. Pimple Popper. So, today we'll be talking about why a family sued Dr. Pimple Popper for messing up their son's face. Without further ado, let's dive right in. The procedure was scary. One of the major reasons given by the family, apart from messing up their son's face, is the fact that the surgical procedure was the family to sue the reality show. Is the fact that the surgical procedure that the family is suing them about was scary. The surgery was brutal and extremely bloody. There were moments when the procedure almost went wrong, which eventually caused their son anxiety. Apart from the scary surgical procedure, the fact that Dr. Pimple Popper eventually messed up their son's face, which they find insensitive on Dr. Pimple Popper's part. The majority of cases featured on the show have always been quite sensitive, which can be quite disturbing to some viewers. And this particular case was no exception. A lot of people want the hit medical reality show off the air, and the family suing them is one of them. Graphics visuals. Another major reason why Dr. Pimple Popper is being sued is because the graphic nature of the case. While some people find Dr. Pimple Popper enlightening and entertaining, and Dr. Lee uploading the video of the surgery was supposed to be entertaining and enlightening, the family find the act offensive and triggering. The majority of Dr. Pimple Popper patients' cases require surgery, which for some people who are not a fan of bloody contents can find the case nauseating as it seems the family isn't a fan of it. If you are squeamish, Dr. Pimple Popper is not for you. Even though the network managed to censor most of the surgical procedures for the sensitive case, Dr. Pimple Popper is still being sued by the family of the patient. It seems like the parents wants Dr. Pimple Popper off the air. Fame. The family also has accused Dr. Pimple Popper of using their son's case to achieve popularity and the obvious medical malpractice is being ignored by the network to continue to achieve ratings and create enough buzz around the show. According to the family, while they keep trying to get the network's attention concerning their son's case, the network keeps ignoring their pleas, hence the legal action. It's offensive. The show has been considered by the family as offensive. As much as the network censors content that viewers might deem offensive in order to make it a more comfortable viewing experience, it seems like the show still has a long way to go especially if the producers of the show want to prevent it from getting flagged. While Dr. Pimple Popper constantly talks about how she wants to help people by enlightening the audience on the various kinds of skin infections that some people could be battling with, it seems it might not be enough to convince this family, despite every good intention, still finds the show offensive. It is gross. The family also accused the show of being too gross. The gross content is perhaps the biggest complaint of the show by the audience. The gross nature of the show has been heavily criticized since the premiere of the show. While the push and pull of watching disgusting medical videos is not a new phenomenon for fans of TLC, it's just not the same with some people who are just not into it. There is a desire for some people to protect their minds from such variables. If they are triggered by such content, especially parents, especially kids who just want to watch pretty shows. And this is the case. A kid with the messed up face is even involved. It should be illegal for kids. According to this family, it should be illegal for kids to be featured on the show, especially kids under 10 years of age who are not able to make decisions for themselves. Apart from not allowing kids to be patients on the show, the family also felt the show should have been made illegal for kids to watch. A lot of cases on the show can be quite much for kids who might not be able to grasp the magnitude of the graphic nature of the show that could later cause anxiety for kids. Although parent discretion disclaimer is usually shown before an episode airing, there is nothing the network can do for the videos of the show released on the internet that kids can easily access, which can cause issues in the long run. There you have it guys, reasons why the family sued Dr. Pimple Popper for messing up their son's face. Did you enjoy the video? Share your thoughts with others in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please don't hesitate to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. You can also turn on the notification to get notification on our future post and sequel to the 90 Day Fiance series. We hope to see you again. Adios.